If you follow the news, chances are you've heard of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, more commonly known as APEC. You would have also seen footage and photos of world leaders gathering during the yearly APEC Economic Leaders meetings. For a lot of people, that's the extent of what they know about APEC. Of course, it is much more than that. APEC is a multilateral organization made up of 21 members that lie in the Pacific Ocean who are working towards a common goal of bringing growth and prosperity to the Asia-Pacific region. APEC's members participate in the forum as economies. This emphasizes the forum's focus on matters of trade and economic cooperation. Under these conditions, members who have different approaches to policy can find a common approach to finding solutions and getting things done. APEC is culturally diverse. It includes both developing and advanced economies. Collectively, the APEC region is home to almost 3 billion people, accounting for half of world trade and more than half of the global economy. It is important that we understand that APEC isn't just the annual leaders' meeting. In fact, it is a continuous process involving around 20,000 representatives from all levels of government, with representatives from business and the academe attending hundreds of meetings held all year long. They meet to ensure that goods, services, investment, and people move easily across borders. Members align regulations, set standards, and agree upon policies that make it easier to be an entrepreneur in the region. Officials learn from each other about dozens of topics, ranging from economic growth, increasing the participation of women in the economy, energy, public health, e-commerce, to the environment, and the list goes on. Diverse as APEC is, getting everyone to be on the same page requires a lot of work. Which brings us to one of APEC's defining characteristics. By intent and tradition, APEC is less formal than other forums, and its outcomes may be adopted by members voluntarily. This may seem unusual, but it makes APEC an important platform for cooperation. Even as members deal with delicate issues outside the forum, they will continue to engage each other in APEC. The forum is consensus-driven, and each member has an equal say in decision-making. Because members can cooperate without the pressure of binding agreements, there is less inhibition around new initiatives. This has made APEC a test kitchen of sorts, which has developed more than a few successful ideas that have been adopted by other organizations. APEC's structure has allowed it to grow organically and adapt easily to the times. Although it may not be obvious, we feel its effects. APEC is changing the way the world works and is making life better for people in the Asia-Pacific region. To learn more about us, visit www.apec.org or engage us on social media.